So basically, a lot of times people will have problems where suddenly their internet's not working. And again, remember, I mean both the email and web browsing is not working. If just one or just the other is not working, then it's a little more complicated thing and you probably will need to call you know, a computer tech or someone who's knowledgeable about these things to help you or call the, the support line for your internet service provider if you get stuck. But in all situations, there is a very simple and easy fix that you know, 75% or more of the time will very quickly fix the problem with your internet connection. So like if you open up, try to go a web page and it says server can't be found and, and you go to your email and it gives you an error message saying server can't be found or something to that effect, usually that means your internet connection, the whole thing is not working. So the first thing to try is if you've got a router uh, and uh, you've got a DSL or cable modem, you want to unplug both of them from the electricity. Now, if you just have the DSL modem or cable modem, of course, you don't obviously need to unplug the router because uh, you don't have one. But uh, uh, basically, if you have both, you want to unplug both. And what you do is you go look for, again, it's this. It looks usually going to look similar to this. And I believe this holds true for those people who are overseas. Um, it looks usually like a kind of like a little post. It's round. And a lot of times it has a little central hole there. And hopefully this is going to get in focus so you can see it. But um, anyway, um, that goes into that port right at the end on the, the this end, which you can kind of see in the video here. It has It's, it's round and has a little central post sticking out. And so this thing fits into it. So what you do and this will again fix most commonly fix your internet connection and you might have to restart your computer or something like that um, to fix it fully um, but you basically just take that cord the power cord you unplug it and you do the same thing with your key cable or DSL modem unplug it from the power and again looks very similar which by the way make sure you don't mix the two up uh, in some cases these two cords will actually plug, one will plug into the other, it'll fit, but it may not be the right uh, amount of electricity, the, what they call the right number of amps, the right number of the right amount of voltage and everything, uh, and it can damage it if you don't plug the correct one back in. But, so just sort of, you know, just keep an eye on it and maybe do one at a time if you're, gonna, if you're worried about confusing it. But you just unplug it and you leave it for about 30, 45 seconds, and then you plug it back in. And what that does, it's kind of the equivalent of rebooting your computer. And as you may know, restarting your computer, if you've got a problem, often fixes the problem. It doesn't always, of course. It really depends on the problem. But it is a quick fix that is something that's quick and easy to try and will often resolve the problem. So the same thing applies with your cable modem and your or DSL modem and your router. If your internet connection is not working at all, unplug them wait 30 45 seconds and plug them back in the electricity again which usually has the round post like connector unplug it wait plug it back in and then um wait for it to come back it usually will take about a minute or minute and a half and then if you to be thorough what you can also do is restart your computer at the same time and then many times that will fix the problem. If it doesn't, that's when you need to go and actually call someone and like myself or someone uh, at a, um, or call your internet service provider and ask them if there's a problem and if they can help you. But uh, by following these tips, it can, it's a real, you know, two minute process, three minute process to, and it can often fix your issues and save you some time and aggravation.